New results from a research project by Salud America show that if you put the healthy stuff on the shelf, people will buy it. It's a simple idea and one that many neighborhood stores have resisted. Today, however, that hesitation should be put to rest. It's the subject of our case at 12 Making Awesome Changes series in conjunction with the University Health System, which is trying to get us all healthier. Might find cilantro and peppers on many store shelves in San Antonio's Hispanic neighborhoods, but not this stuff. Fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, juices with no sugar. Up till now, many store owners thought it wasn't desirable. In a nutshell, the research found that there just aren't as many supermarkets in Latino communities. And of the stores that are there, most are quarter stores that will carry more Snickers bars than tomatoes. But stores like this one on Zarzamora took advantage of a city incentive program years ago that paid for a cooler in the store specifically for fresh items like vegetables and fruit. A lot of customers come in and instead of grabbing that candy or that ice cream, they're grabbing the fruit, bananas and the apples and the oranges and and the kids don't, they, they like it. In fact, it was so successful, even after the incentive program was over, this store kept selling the healthier choices and kept selling out. Not surprising, according to Salute America, it says new research shows shoppers will look for and pay for the fresh stuff at the neighborhood corner store. Our parents are extremely busy. They're picking up a lot of fast foods. Our kids aren't getting out to exercise as much as they should. So this is one of several initiatives that we're going to be rolling out, informing people about what we can do in, um, in getting better uh, fruits and vegetables in their community. Now here's how the numbers break down in the study that was done in a Latino neighborhood in New York. Neighborhood stores saw that if the fresh food was there, shoppers bought 26% more veggies, 32% more fruit, and 45% more milkshakes. The store that we featured enjoyed similar results, but is now closed for renovation at the moment. If you'd like to see more on this subject, you can visit our website, KSET.com, and look for the Making Awesome Changes section.